What up? It's your boy Paulo. We're here with a little beer review. We got us a big bad boy. Nimble Giant from Trogues Brewing. It's a 9% double IPA. They do this beer once a year. Um, Azica, Mosaic, and Simcoe. I absolutely love Simcoe. It's a really dank hop variety. But uh, I'll read what it says here. Without sway there can be no balance our double IPA gracefully boasts grapefruit rind, pineapple, and honeysuckle notes with a hint of earthy forest floor. Behold the wonder. Um, it does have a freshest buy date, 10-1. But the, I know this stuff was just released in the last couple weeks, maybe a month at most. Oh yeah, it smells great. Definitely grapefruit on the nose. This is going to pour crystal clear, man. This is what the double IPA is supposed to look like. Super, super clear. Look at that business, man. That's, mmm. Looks like a light beard, don't it? Mmm. Can't wait. 16 ounce can, so it's a... It's a Cindy at a nine percenter. Oh yeah. That is delicious. Um, those of you that are big IPA guys, I'm gonna know when I say it's got that nice bitter bite to it and, and on the mouth feel. It's almost um sweet like um, layers of candy like think of like a, a not the taste but like if you were sucking on a caramel or a butterscotch it kind of coats your mouth with that velvetiness and that's what you get on these nice IPAs it's almost like a, like you're eating some candy and uh, then it smacks you with a big hit of some bitter on your tongue Definitely grapefruit. Um, it does have a touch of um, some pine to it, which I don't doesn't say anything about West Coast style or anything. It does say to serve in a chalice, which uh, I don't have one right on hand. But most most of the IPA cups are like tulips, but a chalice is completely round. So it comes up and how a tulip comes up kind of like the shape of a lady. A uh, chalice just is completely round. It doesn't come back out at the top. I don't know if that's a good <laughs> description of it. But. Oh yeah. She's bitter and strong. And I love it. It's so clean. You don't, it's really fresh, so you don't get any of the malt hardly at all on this. Um, after a minute or so, you let the little bit of that bitter subside. I guess you could say you pick up on a little malt, but my palate's not sophisticated enough to tell. Just so beautifully clear. Can you see me through there? I can see you, but I don't know if you can see me. Absolutely love this beer. Um, I'll give you a little bit of Trogues. It's been around for a long time. They're a uh, pretty big business. Uh, they do tons and tons of beers. Um, this is one that they do. It's a once a year release. It's the big double IPA for them. I do have um, Troganator. Um, there's, they've got quite a few IPAs, but they do other styles too. I mean, they're they're big stuff. I mean, they've been around for quite a while. I I can't. I'm not going to guess at it, but I would think probably ten years. I mean, the when I first started seeing anything about craft beer, they had a, they were one of the guys that had already been in the game for a while. Um, let's see. I can't think of where where Trogues is at. I'm not seeing anything on here either. 
You don't know where they're where they're located at. Yeah. I should know that, but I don't know. Maybe I'll put it in the description if I can find out. Mm, well. Go ahead and send her and see if I can get a little description off this end. That's better. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a lot of better. I like better, and that was maybe a little bit much better. <clears throat> Made my eyes water and everything. Yeah, definitely, definitely wouldn't suggest chugging a 9% double IPA that's, doesn't list the IBUs, but IBUs are made up anyways, but it's got to be close to 100. It's got to be 80 at least. Easily an 80. We'll leave it at that, guys. Uh, killer beer. If you like strong, bitter IPAs, um, citrus forward, nice clear and clean. Pick her up. See you guys next time.